Another thing I've learned is that you do not get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate. Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a few things I've learned from living in the United Kingdom for almost 13 years. These things are going to definitely help you make the best out of your time here if you're considering living in this place. If this is something you think you would enjoy, or something you think your friends, your family, or your enemies would enjoy, sit back, relax, and let's have a good time watching this video. My name is Stephanie, and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. <laughs> We're going to go right into this and the first thing number one is building your credit so like improving your credit score having a credit score obviously you, you need to get a credit score to be able to improve something and then the way to improve your credit funnily is to use credit so you get credit to try and improve your credit score getting credit i mean getting a credit card paying bills like your council your regular bills normally but Obviously, taking a loan, getting a credit card, these are ways to get credit that could help you improve that score. So things that will make you actually maintain and have a good credit score is always paying down on your balances. So obviously, taking a credit card, you go somewhere, you know, they check your credit score that you might not have. But obviously, for first time, as the highest your APR reaches, that the interest you'll be paying on top of what you borrowed will be high. So you go there, and I'm not saying you now go and start spending just so that you can pay back. No. But or the normal things you usually spend your money on, use that credit card to do them, and then that money you know you'd have used to buy with your debit card, you pay back into your credit card. That just automatically starts building up your score. You now start you know getting high scores. Next time you get next credit card, your APR will be lower, and it will help you. Usefulness of a good credit score cannot be overestimated because guys at some point you would want to buy a house, you want to buy a car, you would want to just be having credit. It's just your way forward living in the United Kingdom. So when people say a oh, credit card, no, yeah, my I just use my debit card. That's actually finished. Go and get a credit card. Obviously, don't go and spend above your means. Act like you know that's a debit card. So you're spending only what you actually can pay back at that time or at a future time. Don't get into the habit of spending using your credit card to buy frivolous things that you could not afford before you had a credit card okay whenever you have a credit card you pay it as i said do not miss payments that looks bad for you even your regular current account do not overdraw sometimes they give you an overdraft that's kind of credit as well as a short-term credit do not go and be overspending it when you spend into your overdraft pay it up immediately just so you don't have missed payments or your credit check because these companies okay if you don't know they have like different companies where they check your credit score clear score experience so many places so and they all know how to get this information so fast from your bank <laughs> so do not even be misbehaving with your little little payments as often as you can leave a balance of like 200 pounds if you can afford that on your current account it just makes you look good oh god i've talked so much about credit cards it's so important let's go to the next one the second thing is to do your research guys there's so many people that are so scared to do the basicest of things i'm sure that's how people who provide services actually make money because a lot of you are just lazy in the uk you can go and read about everything like there's nothing you're doing there's no application you're doing that you can't do by yourself forget all these lawyers that you're getting a lawyer is even when you're confused can just go for a consultation or paying a lawyer to represent you, you know how in I come from Nigeria and I know people just the littlest of things, the little, uh, smallest, they just get somebody to do, one pay someone, to, you can do everything yourself. And then the thing is, these rules change so often. So it's even better you go and read yourself. Sometimes word of mouth as well, if you're you know, surrounded by people who are in the kind of situation you are, sometimes you talk rubbish, but use your eyes to read these things. You can do every single application yourself. Do your research. Don't waste your money on lawyers. Do it yourself. Go and read. Everything is online. You know, people are asking you stupid questions. Tell them to go online and read it because and when you go online, obviously you know how to Google. Now you see sponsored articles. Ignore those ones. Just leave all the sponsored ones and go to the main place. Visibigation.gov.uk. That's the place to get education. Fine, you can get articles where people are saying their experience, but always just go to the source and do the right thing. Follow the step-by-step -step process, guys. You would be fine. Number three, this one is for people who are already working in the UK work-life balance like there's some people who just generally like to overwork themselves guys know your rights like you're supposed to work a certain time work that certain time go back home this country knows how to stress you drag you you get off your house for you know just like lagos in nigeria like you can't even do two or three things in a day so prioritize yourself like obviously give your best to your work but do not take your work over your life your work is very important yes but don't forget that you know you need to take care of yourself you need to take care of your family it's a very lonely place a very cold place if you don't have family here so 
you almost be lonely and so a lot of people just spend a lot of time at work or, but no take time go to the park walk around just chill and yeah know that there's a balance is always good in life and don't get carried away with chasing where you can never be so so rich so work smart as against working harder number four be careful what you're doing because someone is always watching guys you can see your neighbors you'll be saying hi hi morning they are watching you like guys someone is always watching i know you come and say hi hello hello there you're right you're right <laughs> They are watching you, so be careful what you're doing. Like someone, so just know that someone is so just but just one camera. In fact, to be honest, they actually <laughs> cameras. Like, apparently, when you leave your house to wherever you're going in a day, you're captured by is it 650 cameras or something. So someone is or something is always watching you. So watch your step, behave yourself, because you have to be able to back up anything you're doing on the road. Do not trust people around you, no matter how they smell, because they are watching. Be careful. We always. Way in the UK. Number five, this one is kind of general, it's not just UK, but be suspicious because everything can be a scam. When something is too good to be true, it is probably too good to be true. When you read something, hear something, just watch it. Be, the fact that the first your first reaction to things should be suspicion. I know trust issues is not the best thing in life, but guys, it's better to be armored that way than to just be so trusting that then before you know pounds is heavy. You can probably only lose one pound. You know how much it is in other currencies. So be suspicious of everything, every article, every information, because you just never know who is trying to make money with you. The way you're working so hard your normal legal work that's the way some people are working so hard with that illegal stuff like it can look so real you get an email you get a text message before you know you're clicking one link before you know your bank account everything is ready Pew. just be careful and be suspicious of every single thing especially things that you've never done forget that technology the things you've not come across before look at them with double eyes before you you know dive and start doing rubbish number six i would say save as much as you can i know obviously like we're talking we're growing, everybody's adult, you're supposed to be investing as against saving. But guys, when you're in the UK, you save. Because, like for instance, your rent, and most of the time you're paying rent month by month. Imagine something happens that one month. What are you going to be saying? You'll now be defaulting, you'll now be having issues. Next time you try to move, your former landlord now say you're owing. Try and save. Yes, so we invest. That's another story. But save. At every point, try and save what to keep it for the next two months. Because, guys, living in this UK, you're literally one. Let me not say health issue because we have the NHS, but one strong family problem away from being bankrupt or away from shaking and falling. And people don't answer. This is not like Nigeria or your home country where you can just like easily begging money will come. Pounds is heavy. Everybody is struggling. So as much as you can, while you're earning, just be saving. Just be saving. Just imagine that something might happen next month. Something might happen next month. Just be saving so that you can stand firm. If something happens to you for at least two months, then when it goes beyond two months, now know that, okay, this is unfortunate. So just cultivate that habit of saving. And I know when I say save, you'll be thinking, ah, okay, when I start making 5,000 pounds, I start, no. When you have 100 pounds, save 20, save 10. If you can't save small from small, you can't save, like if you can't save 10 from 100, trust me, you can't save 1,000 when you get 10K because the needs will still come. So just cultivate that habit of saving. Another thing I've learned is that you do not get what you deserve. You get what you negotiate in every way. Like even in the smallest of jobs, the biggest of jobs, like you get what you negotiate from humans or from your job. It's mostly job I'm talking about. Sha. You'll be saying, I deserve this, I deserve, I have this. Now, nah, open your mouth, especially you ladies. We don't know how to negotiate, talk money. We'll be doing like... Open your mouth, say what you want, what you deserve, what you want. Say it with your mouth. High as you will be here, no, or you know, you negotiate lower, but just know that you do not get what you deserve. Forget pretty privilege, you forget that. No, who knows who, okay, obviously, like who knows who will help you to an extent, but just realize that you get what you actually negotiate. Still talking money, don't go out <laughs> not expecting to spend 20 pounds or more. It's crazy. It's just how it is, especially in London. You're just breathing air and pounds is just leaving your <laughs> account. Like, it's just easy to spend. Even with the card tapping, it, it's just easy. So just put it to your head that comes. I'm going out now. Money is going to be leaving. So sit in your house. There's rice at home. There's the food at home. Sit in your house as much as you can. Obviously, socialize or go out too. But try to keep your head that as you're going out. Pounds is leaving your account. Coins is flipping out of your pockets. Realize that the earlier for you, the better. Another good realization is to know that your salary is for your landlord. You're literally working for your landlord. It's crazy, guys. The amount of rent we pay in this country. 
then the space. So when you come here expecting all those houses in America, uh, MTV Cribs, nah, that's not the UK. <laughs> we're earning our oh, landlord it's crazy the bills you pay i'm just saying landlord in the name of like obviously your rent which is the most important and then your bills is just crazy like you're literally you're just earning money to just go and like, give that landlord it's just mental yeah so, so. i guess that's all i would say for now to be honest if i remember anything i'll write in the comment section and you guys too if you've lived in the uk for a bit and there's anything you've learned and you want to share down below please share it down below i'll probably do something funny i'll be like living in london but on a more lighter note but guys don't forget the points i said most especially your credits and then the savings part of things please follow me on instagram at metro gypsy thank you so much for watching this video share this video with your friends your family and your enemies drop a comment because i love to read from you i'll see you on the next episode guys bye bye